Hey, Justin's dream is about to come true. He's a trainee at the police department. To become a real detective, though, he has to pass a challenge. It consists of the hardest detective riddles. And here's the first one. The police had been looking for Kyle for two days. The guy went hiking and never came back. Finally, he was found. Someone had hit him on the head and left him lying in the bushes. Kyle only managed to say, friend, in a weak voice and lost consciousness. The police officers had three suspects, all of them Kyle's friends. Zachary said he'd spend these last days at work getting ready for a conference. Jesse told the detectives he'd sprained his ankle and had been in bed for four days. And Billy explained he'd been to New York for business. The man even showed the police officers his boarding pass. Who's behind the accident with Kyle? Justin is an attentive guy. He immediately noticed that Billy had showed just one boarding pass. Then how did he get back from New York? His story sounds fishy. Now, Justin is given a note with several numbers on it. He has to figure out the missing one. It's the code to the safe with the evidence. He needs to crack the next case. 53653... Hmm... It didn't take Justin long to understand the missing number is 7. He needed to get subsequent 536 and 537. The safe's open. Justin sees a folder with the case he needs to solve next. Mr. White, a rich businessman, disappeared from his bedroom. But he managed to leave a note. It read, the 1st of July, the 4th of January, the 1st of December, the 8th of February. The police questioned the people who were in the house at that time. Judy, Mr. White's wife, said, I'm shocked. My husband was always so careful. Sadly, I don't know anything. I was away staying at my parents. Logan, Mr. White's secretary, told the police he had been working on the report for his boss and hadn't left his study. And Rose, Mr. White's daughter, answered, I was having guests. We didn't leave my room. The case is still unsolved. Can Justin crack it? The one behind Mr. White's disappearance is his wife. The 1st of July means the letter J, the 4th of January, U, the 1st of December, D, and the 8th of February, Y. Altogether, it's Judy. The next day, Justin was questioning Mary, a suspect in a tricky smuggling case. The girl refused to talk. At some moment, she shouted, Right now, I'd drown my phone in this cup filled with coffee and you'll never find out the truth. But Justin was totally unbothered by her threat. Why? The cup was filled with coffee beans. They would do no harm to the gadget. A shoe shiner was arrested and taken to the police station where Justin worked. The man was shouting he was an honest person. He cleaned people's shoes for free. His clients paid him of their own will. But Justin soon realized which trick the shoe shiner used. The man cleaned one shoe for free. Nobody wanted to look untidy in just one clean shoe, and paid him for shining the other one. Once, Justin's boss called his wife and told her he'd come back home at 8 o'clock. They had no plans for the evening whatsoever. The man was at home almost on time, at 5 minutes past 8. But his wife was furious. The boss was confused. When he came to work the next day, he asked Justin to explain to him why his wife had been so angry. Justin told his boss, Well, your wife expected you to come home at 8pm. 
but you came at 8 in the morning. Justin was sent to patrol the streets. While walking, he saw a weird picture. A man went out of a house with a bucket of water, shouted, and poured this water on the sidewalk. It took Justin some time to figure out why he had done it. The man had been planning to wash his car. But while he was away, it got stolen. Once, a bank was robbed. The police suspected that one of the bank's security guards had helped the criminals. And Justin had to question three of them. The first security guard told him he had heard some shouting and rushed there. But by the time he arrived, the criminals had already been gone. The second security guard explained he had been drinking a cup of coffee at that moment and hadn't even heard anything. And the third guard said that he had run after the thieves, but he had to lace his boot. Without a second thought, he crouched near an emergency exit. At that very moment, the door opened and hit him on the head. When he came back, the criminals had been gone. Justin immediately understood which guard was guilty. Who was it? It was the third security guard. All emergency doors open outwards for safety reasons. Justin's next suspect was a young woman. The guy hadn't seen her yet, but he had her photo. When he was looking at this picture, he felt something was wrong, but couldn't figure out what exactly. Then, all of a sudden, it dawned on him. What did Justin realize? The girl was inside the house, but the door was blocked from the outside. How did she get in and out of the house? Through the second floor window? Unlikely. A notorious criminal escaped from a 150-foot tower. Someone had managed to get him a pair of scissors and a rope. Justin found out that the rope was just 75 feet long, and the criminal had cut it in the middle. Now, the future detective needs to understand how it helped the man get away. The criminal indeed cut the rope in the middle, but not across. He made the cut along the rope, tied its two parts together, and got down to the ground without any problems. A new case for Justin. Martin bought a car in September, and now, just a month later, it's stolen. All four suspects are Martin's friends. The crime happened at 10 p.m. on Wednesday. At that time, Alan was playing badminton in the park. Natalie was driving home from work. Roy took his cat for a walk. And Rose was doing some grocery shopping. Who was behind the car theft? Alan. It was October. At 10 p.m., it would be too dark to play badminton. An important document is missing, and Justin has to find it before his boss comes back from his vacation. The guy had found out only three people could take the document. At the moment when the papers disappeared, Randy was in his office, analyzing a new case. Johnny was taking a shower before his regular gym workout. And Kayla was at her firearms training. Who took the document? It was Johnny. Who takes a shower before a workout? Airport authorities suspected a gold smuggler was going to fly out from their airport. Justin was sent there to help. The suspect was stopped at the customs. But try as they might, security officers couldn't find anything suspicious in his suitcase. Just some personal belongings. They had to let the man go. But once he picked up his suitcase and started to walk away, Justin realized the man did have the gold. How did he understand it?
There were just a few things in the suitcase, meaning the man had to carry it with ease. But he used both his hands to handle it. It means there must be something heavy hidden inside. Justin finished his working day and decided to drop by his favorite coffee shop. But while he was ordering his cappuccino, someone took his wallet. He only saw a man's retreating figure. Justin ran after him, but the man was already driving away in a black car. Our future detective jumped in his own car and started to follow him. He couldn't drive too fast since it was raining. In 10 minutes, the black car disappeared around the corner. When Justin got there, he saw three similar black cars parked in front of the apartment building. It didn't take him long to understand which car belonged to the thief. How did he find it out if he didn't see the man's license? The ground under the first and third cars is dry. But beneath the second car, it's wet. It means its owner has just arrived. A man came to the police station, and Justin was sent to talk to him. He claimed he had been sold a fake coin. The seller told him it was ancient, and the man believed him. But when he came home, he realized he had been fooled. Justin threw just one glance at the coin and agreed with the man. Why? The coin had a 15 BCE mark on it. But people who lived at that time couldn't know it was before the current era. Hey, dreams do come true! Justin's probation period is over, and he's now a real detective. <laughs>